Hey, what is up, phone dogs? Bo HD here, and I've got a really cool Google app to show you guys. It's not available for everyone just yet, but it's called Google Inbox by Gmail. And it's essentially just a completely new form of email. It's available on both iOS and Android on an invite only system right now. So I'll try and insert some clips of the app running on both operating systems. But what it does is essentially it automatically filters your emails and puts them into various categories or bundles which is what Google likes to call them. There's all types of bundles, including ones for travel, purchases, finances, social media sites, various updates, forums, and even promotions. There are also unbundled folders that you can personally create. Some of those include receipts, work, and personal emails. But like I said, you can create groups for whatever you like, and you can have Inbox automatically filter emails into them to make them quote unquote bundled. The other really cool feature in Inbox is called Highlights. You can see all sorts of stuff, including updates, flight statuses, reservation details, and pictures without actually having to open up the email. Yeah, that's right. Google does this for you, which is incredibly convenient and also kind of creepy. But just the ability to be able to take a glance at your inbox to see the info you really need, especially info about a flight time or order update without actually having to open the entire email, it's just really convenient. And it's one of my favorite features. And also what's cool is that, you know, when you say, okay, Google, remind me to put the clothes in the dryer. Well, that reminder now appears at the top of your inbox. Actually, all of your reminders will appear at the top of your inbox until you dismiss them and get them done. Add in the fact that if you make a reminder with a phone number in it, Google will automatically add a link for you to tap on it and bring up the dialer. Or you can add various business related info you may be missing just from the link. So it's just really convenient and it makes me way too happy inside for a feature like this. But if you can't or don't complete a reminder right away, you can snooze it and it'll go away for the time being. You can set it to remind you for the next day or really whenever you want. And as you can see, all this stuff works right now. I mean, technically this is on an invite only system, although Google did just release a boatload of invites not too long ago, so I doubt it'll stay private for too long. But the entire app as a whole really works well. They've been working on it for apparently more than two years and it looks like it's ready for prime time. And as you can see, it includes the new material design, menu drawers slide out from the sides of the display just like Google Now cards, and various info morphs in and out such as the plus composition button below, the search bar, and even the pinned menus. Everything fades in and out and it just looks very beautiful and in tune to the material design. As you can see, it's a very polished app aesthetically, and the functionality is definitely there. I'd say once I get completely used to this new layout, it'll definitely, and I say definitely, replace my standard Gmail inbox. And that is really saying a lot. One thing I found really awesome is that you can essentially free up your entire inbox much quicker than a traditional email app, since you can dismiss entire categories of emails. And when there's nothing else to display, you are presented with the weather in the background instead of a blank screen. It's just one of those really nice little details found in this app. But overall, it's been something like 10 years since email received a major makeover like this, and the new inbox app by Gmail is the long-awaited makeover email deserves. And so with that said, that is my hands-on first look and review of the new inbox app by Gmail. As always, guys, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.